Hello everyone, um, it's Robin, welcome back. Um, this would be episode 5 of Project Eating Gardens Academy. This is my first time doing a face cam, so yeah, here I am. I am wearing a Don Rumpel shirt. Yes, I am. Anyways, I think we should get started now. We left off just before the class trial, so <laughs> I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I guess we'll view, view the trinket first. So we got truth bullets, just like in normal Danganronpa. We're just going to review this together. The victim is Kara Koskinen. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The ultimate teacher's aid. She was stabbed in the torso 28 times. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head. The most notable burns were to her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is unknown. So I was reviewing some of the old footage and I completely overlooked that there was um, chemical burns on her. So that probably has something to do with the bleach. We reviewed the tablet. Um, a blood soaked knife found at the scene of the crime which we're assuming is the murder weapon. We don't know yet. Pretty sure though. <laughs> there was a fully loaded assault rifle next to the victim's body. It was speckled with blood. A bucket found lying on its side in the janitor's closet. Uh, the interior of the bucket reeked of bleach. I am so sorry I'm terrible at narrating. I get my words mixed up. I've noticed throughout editing the past videos that I put words where they aren't there and i take away words and i and it's just like it's almost like i'm dyslexic or something probably not to that extent i'm just like i mix up things a lot don't say things like they're supposed to be said you know mispronounce things all the time i apologize about that there was dried blood underneath the victim's nails the rest of her hands were clean so what i'm assuming is typically when you find dried blood under the nails like that if there's no blood on the rest of the hands they were scratching at something, which usually typically means you're putting up a struggle. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the killer's blood, but it's not like we have chemical testing and DNA testing and all that in here. I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do in this game, but yeah. So that would be it for that. Okay. In session! <laughs> I'm excited. I'm also scared. Let's begin with a brief explanation of the class trial. No, not this. Okay. The objective here is simple. Explain how the murder took place. Using evidence you've gathered during the investigation, you will argue what you believe happened to the victim. Should you all agree on the right answer, you will be free to leave this place. Should you all agree on the wrong answer, well, you'll find out. Oh yes, you will. Yes, sir. Somebody get me out of here. No more narrating. <laughs> uh, um, if this is something we must discuss, I know a good place to start. I love Wolfgang, and also I was pronouncing his last name Akira. It's Akira. I'm so stupid, guys. I wasn't paying attention. I was only half paying attention the whole time. I better pay attention this time. We get it. Okay, I don't know if it's going to show up in the video, but I accidentally had two tabs open. So it was like louder than it was supposed to be, which explains why it was so loud. Um, for me anyways, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on the video because typically when you're recording at least with my Stuff it only records one screen. I apologize in advance if it was super loud because I was not aware that two tabs were open <laughs> Why is she freaking out so much? Did she just pass out? Calm down, it's only a shock. She won't suffer any permanent side effects. Uh, you better fucking hope. If I wanted to see the brain dead bigger, I'd just turn on the telly. This guy is so British. I just wonder, because some of the, um, terminology, it seems like I'm not, I don't recognize it, so I think maybe it's from a different area. On that note, please, carry on. 
Holy shit, the people running this thing aren't playing around. As you were saying, Wolfgang? What do you think? I mean, they... When did you think they were ever playing around? Right, the way I see it, the objective of this tra... By the way, can I get like a seat with this thing? I'm just gonna be an onlooker. It's only fair. Okay. Uh, you're seriously not going to contribute? He didn't even investigate, so how is he supposed to? What am I even supposed to do? Well, just wait and find out. Put your detective hat on, buddy. We're here to solve a mystery. Yeah, who murdered that dummy chick, right? Not who murdered her, how they murdered her. Did that tablet not explain it? It listed her wounds, yes, but it didn't explain how they were inflicted. Probably because it's so obvious. But, Miss Amber, you didn't even read the tablet. And I don't have to! Would you look at that? A debate's already underway. <laughs> These guys are clearly confused. I need to stop them before they arrive at the wrong conclusion. Oh gosh, do you hear that? That's the sound of a non-stop debate approaching. This, I don't know how they're not going to get taken down or something. Because I was talking to my father about this. Um, he was like, do you think they'll get taken down? Because of how, like, they're using so many things from the series. Even though they claim they're not, like, it's not, I mean... I don't know. I'm not complaining. I mean, it's really cool. It's just, I'm scared for the creators. <laughs> During non-stop debates, your classmates will speak one after another without interruption. You know what? I am going to need my mouse for this. Non-stop debate. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Assault rifle. Okay, that's not, it's the starting The mystery easy. was never about who killed Kara, but how she died. Is that true? Objection! It's obvious what the murder weapon was! I didn't get a good look at the crime scene, but the body was pretty bloody. And what could have spilt that blood? This is really cool, Besides guys, for a fan game. Besides that big, scary gun! Ah, oh, that's right! There was a gun! You hear that, lawyer man? She agrees! So it's obvious what the weak point is. I didn't get a good look at the crime scene, but the body was pretty bloody. And what could have spilt that blood? Besides that big scary guy. Oh. No. That's Sorry, wrong. I was using. I was. I bet. Um, left click is for noise when that becomes a thing. Cassidy, can you stop butting in? You barely investigated the crime scene to begin with. It's a little whispery. <laughs> Whoa, what? I searched that place from top to bottom. All right, then tell me, how is a fully loaded assault rifle used as the murder weapon? That's easy. It wasn't. Obviously, the shooter reloaded their gun to full capacity. Girl. Any smart shooter could tell you that. Right, Desmond? Desmond? I've been calling Desmond. <laughs> that makes sense, Desmond. Well, why are you bringing me into this? Except, the victim suffered multiple stab wounds to the torso. If the gun was fired, not only should the body have had bullet wounds, but there would be shell casings from the fired bullets. We saw neither at the crime scene. <laughs> Details. Details are important, Cassidy. If the gun didn't do that, chicken? What was the actual murder weapon? That's obvious. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. I got it. This is so easy. The bloody knife. It's just so blatantly obvious. It was literally right next to the victim's body. Uh, why so Cam's razor gotta ruin everything? I don't get the reference. Interesting. Both the knife and the rifle were present at the crime scene, but only the knife was used. Kind of weird, choosing the inferior weapon. Nothing beats the sting of a sharpened blade. If the killer didn't use the rifle, why was it at the crime scene? 
Maybe it came from inside the closet. Don't see why you'd be storing a gun in a janitor's closet. No. Man, I don't know. What if it's not even related to the murder? It wouldn't be there if it wasn't related. So what I think is going on is there was a struggle involved. So it seems like maybe she may have been trying to kill somebody else. What I think maybe could have happened is she had the gun to begin with because she was going to kill whoever this other this other killer is. She was going to kill them, but they were able to defend themselves, maybe. That's the kind of situation, like the other person had the like, does anyone, do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Of course it's related. It's covered in blood. Oh no. Everyone's starting to yell. This debate is getting out of control fast. I need to say something. Okay. Is there going to be more than one truth bullet this time? Yep, tablet and assault rifle. To reiterate, both the rifle and the knife were next to the victim's body. Yet they opted for the knife. Odd choice. Quiet that choice. That gun didn't even work. These days, it's all about aesthetics over effectiveness. That's like your opinion, lady. If the gun was broken, then the killer would have no reason to bring it with them. And yet, they did. <laughs> Watch it be for the aesthetic. Am I right about this? It's easy to assume the killer was the one holding the gun, but... Considering the details of the victim's death, I'm inclined to think otherwise. If the gun was broken, the No, that's wrong. Thing. Stop that thought right there. If we keep assuming the killer had the gun, we'll end up running in circles. Yes, sir. What? You think the killer was unarmed? No. They were definitely armed with the knife. The reason they didn't use a gun is probably because they never had it to begin with. But then, who did? Easy, the victim. Whoa, the dummy had the gun? If it wasn't the killer, it has to be her. She must have brought it to the closet. She was probably carrying it before the murder, but dropped it when the killer attacked her. Oh, I guess that makes some sense. Similar to what I said, different Complete though. sense. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Aren't you overlooking something? Huh? The victim was stabbed from the front, meaning she could have seen the killer coming, correct? If so, why didn't she shoot them? A stealth attack! I bet the killer memorized her AI movements! That girl must have been killed before she had the chance to defend herself. That's not technically true. There's evidence of a struggle between the victim and the killer. Specifically evidence that shows the victim attempted to fight back. That would be this. This is it. We found dry blood under the victim's fingernails, which implies she was clawing at her attacker. Of course, no explanation is definitive without photo proof of the killer, but I'm confident this is what happened. Why would you resort to scratching when you're carrying a gun? Did something get in the way of her using it? Wonder if that killer stole it from her. No, it was the bleach. Somehow that comes into play here. She should have seen or heard him coming from the hallway at the very least. Why do you think she was in the hallway? She could have been struggling with the burns as well, is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's where the fight happens, right? I think you're getting ahead of yourself. How can we be sure the fight happened there? Maybe the fight started in the hallway, and after it ended, her body was dragged into the closet. If that happened, shouldn't there have been streaks of blood on the floor or in the hallway? Drag marks? Can't say I saw any. Nope. It, it was merely a jest. No need to take it so seriously. Instead of dragging the victim, what if the killer carried her? I don't know why they would want to do that, but it would explain the lack of drag marks. But then, wouldn't the killer have been covered in... Blood. 
Aye. It should have gotten everywhere. Those wounds were brutal. A few inches deep, I reckon. Carrying her would have done nothing to stop the blood flow. Hmm. Good point. She was obviously killed in the closet. That's where the blood was? Uh, yes, uh, you're right. I'm so sorry for derailing the conversation. Don't apologize. It's always good to explore every option. Moving on. Um, that fight. The victim had the gun, but she was overpowered? If she wanted to, she could have just, you know. It doesn't make much sense, does it? There must be something we're missing, something that explains how the victim was overpowered. The bleach. And I know I'm the only one who can figure the, all that out. You're not the only one. I'm sure the lawyer guy is pretty fucking smart. Okay, I need to agree with someone. And I'm going to assume it has something to do with the bucket that or killer pulled the tablet. Best one and knock the gun out of her hands. By the sounds of it, those two did have a crazy tussle. But she still carried a gun. So why didn't she shoot? I bet that girl didn't even see them coming. Maybe she thought the killer was her friend? I know I wouldn't hurt a friend. Um, she tried clawing their eyes out. Let's see. It's C. Why the victim shouldn't be That salami killer pulled a fast Tablet. one and knocked the gun out of her hand. So why didn't she shoot? I bet that girl didn't even see. Go. I got it. Consent. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, fuck. Sorry. John actually has a point. The victim probably couldn't see what was going on. According to the tablet, she suffered chemical burns to the face and eyes. That sort of injury would have effectively blinded her. I didn't know it specifically said eyes, but I knew she had chemical burns on her face. Also, inside the janitor's closet, there was a large empty bottle of bleach. That's probably the chemical that caused the burns. Blinded? With bleach? That's horrible! I don't know who was trying to kill who to begin with. I'm unsure. All that pain, yet she still managed to fight back? She sure put up a struggle. Without a gun, I guess the next best thing was her hands. So the killer was definitely the one who blinded her. Indeed. Knowing she had a gun, he blinded her to make her less dangerous. Then, when he pinned her against the door and stabbed her, she tried to retaliate. Until eventually dying from her wounds. Jeez, this is brutal! Couldn't they have toned down the violence? The past is in the past, and we can't change that. All we can do is solve her untimely death, eh? Yeah, I wonder who did it, though. I mean, by the sounds of it, we've already figured it out, right? <sighs> Not yet. Seriously? But we've already discussed so much! That doesn't mean you figured out anything you can discuss for hours and hours and still not get anywhere. We know she was armed. We know she was blinded. We figured out how she died. How is this not a closed case? P please understand, I'm proud of everyone's hard work so far. Because of you, we're one step closer to bringing the victim justice. This was never about the dummy. However, we should think of this case like an equation. Knowing how it works is only half the struggle. Now we need to figure out why. Motive? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know who was trying to kill who or why and who the actual killer is. As in the motive? Mm -hmm. You're on the right track. You speak like we have any information on the killer. The man's a stock image. He doesn't even have a name. What are we supposed to ascertain from that? That he's a non-character? Not every answer will be written down for you. Sometimes actions speak louder than- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold the phone! Uh, Grace? Whoa, 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 what? Since when was Grace back to normal? Right now, soybean. <laughs> watching you guys try to solve this mystery has been like watching a dumpster catch on fire. 
I guess all that smoke must have clouded your vision. Cause there's a big ass elephant in this room. And it's you. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. Maybe not. An elephant in the room? That's giving us too much credit. So the killer incapacitated that girl. She had a gun, it makes total sense. Problem is, you've yet to explain how he used the bleach. The cup. I sort of assumed he spilled it on the victim. Right. He just tipped the bottle over her. That bottle is where the bleach came from, sure. But I doubt the bottle itself was involved in the murder. So it was intentional to have the bleach in a cup, which probably means the killer knew that the victim was coming. When we found it, it was neatly ordered on a shelf near the back of the closet. The gun and knife were just thrown on the floor. So it's weird this weapon was handled so differently. Do you think the killer just poured the contents of that bottle into something else? Sure, before the actual murder took place, I'd say. And what is this something else? Go on, explain it before this dumpster turns molten. She's really stubborn about this, but I get the point she's trying to make. Before we move on from this subject, we need to make sure its logic is completely sound. All right then, let's put out this fire. Great. Well, if the original bottle's been emptied, where'd the bleach go? Uh, into another bottle? What about a container? What about I bet the killer had a secret water gun. So when the victim came in, BOW! He squirted her in the eyes. Hey! The ink vanishes when the battle's over. Call the fire brigade, Grace. Well, yeah. If the original battle's been emptied, where'd the bleach go? Uh, into another bottle? What about a container? I got it. Consent. She's correct. The killer put the chemicals in a bucket. Or, more specifically, the same bucket we found at the crime scene. After all, it reeked of bleach. How big was that bucket? It looked like a cup. If the killer didn't use it to transport Probably bleach, way bigger. what else did they use it for? Personal cleaning? I doubt it. Yo, that makes sense! <laughs> a broken clock is right twice a day. Okay, cool. So, how'd the killer use that bucket to spill bleach in the victim's eyes? I'm not sure I get every one of Ingrid's, like, sayings or, like, I don't know. Maybe they're just old-fashioned or something? Hmm, <laughs> it would be a fairly heavy bucket, so it's unlikely he threw it on her. Poured it on her, maybe? Like, I don't know. She'd shoot him before he even had the chance. Use your brain, mate. Of course, uh, my apologies. That's a good question. How was the killer able to get a hefty bucket of chemicals into the victim's eyes? Especially without her knowing. There must be some kind of clue missing here, I think, Damon. Damon. Even if he did manage to splash her, the girl should have sustained intense facial burns. However, aside from her eyes, her face was relatively untouched. Right. Well, if you check the tablet, it said she had burns to the scalp, too. Which makes me think it was poured on burns her. Burns to the scalp? How does that work? Unless those chemicals came from above? Maybe it was like a trap. Like, it was like, well, there was no rope or anything. Did, did the killer somehow suspend the bucket in the air? Step ladder! In the door! Stop uh, the step ladder. You remember the stupid step ladder? The step ladder in the door. Maybe there was a mechanism that made it tip over when someone entered the room. Where's this bucket supposed to be again? Above. Which, well, could mean anything. Was the killer hiding above the door frame? There's no way they were up there. There's nothing for them to sit or hold on to. Not to mention they couldn't have stabbed her from up there. And if there's no place for the killer to sit, 
then there's no place for the bucket to sit. Not true. Unless you take into account the size difference. Eh? The space above the entrance might not be able to support a person, but it could still support something as small as a bucket. And that thing supporting the bucket? The killer wanted two things, for the bucket to be above the victim and for it to spill on her when she entered the room. In other words, he needed to balance the bucket, but on what? Yes. I got it. Yeah, because when you open the doors, that open the door fall. I don't know how this, but I've got it. The killer just balanced the bucket on the door. Like in those water bucket pranks people film? Exactly. When the victim came into the room, she pushed open the door and caused the bucket to fall on her. This would make it so she couldn't shoot back or even get a chance to see her assailant. When the bucket hit the ground, it probably rolled away. That it explained why we found it a couple feet from the victim. That is the possibility, yes. Hmm. It sounds like the best conclusion. There's just one problem. How was the killer able to reach that high? Step ladder. Unless they were abnormally tall, it'd be difficult to place something on top of that door. Well, let's use that as our next point of discussion. How did the killer set up this trap? To balance that bucket on the door, the killer would need to reach pretty high. Was there anything at the crime scene that they could have used as a boost? If I can answer that, it'll add further credibility to my theory. Oh, spot selection! This is it. Your stupid ladder was there important. There was a step ladder hiding behind the closet door. The killer probably used that. After climbing it, they could position the bucket right on top of the door. Figures. My precious step ladder? You think the bad guy used my super duper obvious step ladder? Yes, what else? Match point! Occam's razor! Yes, it appears our killer didn't care much for subtlety. No matter how obvious it seems, it's the only answer that makes sense. It was the only knickknack of its kind, too. If there's something else that killer could have used, it's escaping me. I see, I see. It makes sense with what we've got so far. But I'm not done yet. I still have one last question for you, apes. Apes? She comes up with new insults every single time. Please just leave us alone. Oh, I'm so tired. Me too. Hey, don't be like that. Grace may be loud, but her questions have really helped our discussion. Fair enough. Anyway, what was the killer doing when that bucket poured onto the girl's head? He obviously didn't just stand there and observe. He was ready to attack, I'm assuming. I have to agree, they must have been hiding somewhere, waiting for her to arrive. Somewhere nearby, I'd assume. Where was the killer hiding? Top of the door frame, behind the door, in the back of the janitor's closet. I'm gonna say in the back of the janitor's closet. I got it. I mean, where else? I've got it. The killer was hiding in the back of the closet. If he was pressed up against the furthest shelf and facing the entrance, there'd be a diagonal path between him and his victim. I say diagonal because that's the only way you can make a direct charge forward. Also, when the victim entered the room, she would have been standing with her back to the hallway, right outside the killer's range. That's why the stab wounds were only made to her chest. Creating the crime scene we found! Great job, guys! We're actually doing this! That was the last mystery, right? Oh, we must have put everything together now. Besides who the actual killer is... Even if it's all fake, I feel really bad for this victim. It's an ugly sight, but she's no victim. Huh? Well, technically she is, but... She was the one carrying the weapon. Let's be real. The girl was carrying a gun. She probably provoked the killer, and they killed her in self-defense. It's a clear-cut case of the hunter becoming the hunted, no? No, I wouldn't exactly say it was self-defense, because the killer still set up all that stuff before she came in with the gun. 
So it's like they were trying to kill each other, possibly. Or the girl, for some reason, say if everything went to hell in the school and everyone was killing each other, she brought it around for self-defense. And then someone killed her. But they had to have known she was coming to the closet. That's the thing. So it seems like they were trying to kill each other. Or maybe someone told her to meet her in the closet and she brought a gun for self-defense. But the killer ended up outsmarting her in that area, I guess. That's no excuse. Ow. What? There's no justifying murder. Killing a woman is the worst thing a man could do. Interesting. You're emanating a sizable amount of emotional tension. Are you okay? There's no excuse. There never was an excuse. Wolfgang, you're scaring me. 28 stab wounds. No girl, no person should ever suffer Kara's fate. Wait, who's Kara? The victim? It was the victim's name. Didn't anyone read the tablet? I did, and he is rightfully agitated because, I mean, he's a lawyer. He's dealt with a lot of people, I'm sure. I, I agree a with lot you, of dude. Victims. But you don't have to shout out your point. Oi, what's all this about? We figured out the case. Stop trying to drag it on. No, we're not finished here. He's either just got a really strong sense of justice or something else. I don't know. Huh? There's no murder without a proper motive. We need to discuss why Kara died. I am not going this far for a fictional murder case. It was based off of a real murder. Did you not listen? We are looking for a murderer. We're looking for answers, which we have. Do you turn in a half-finished exam, Winona? An essay without its conclusion? This isn't about efficiency. This is about being right. Or do you, a supposed entrepreneur, not value integrity? What the hell? Let's just talk about the motive. There's no harm in doing that, right? He's being very aggressive about well, it. Well, what was the motive? Was the killer fighting for their life? Or were they going out of their way to murder? Maybe the gun freaked them out. If I was in the killer's shoes, I'd definitely be nervous. Yeah, but you set up the whole bleach thing like that is not by accident. You had to think all of that through. You had to lure them into that trap. Thing is, while well, acting out of self-defense is possible, since when does it look like this? Given the severity, I'd liken it to a crime of passion. Something done on impulse? What if they were frightened? The spooky thing might have set them off big time. That's wrong. There's no way this was done in self-defense. No matter what excuse the killer uses, it doesn't change the fact they have blood on their hands. Yo, bud, you seem a little pressed. Silence! I won't allow this! Is this like another, like, Nagito situation? Except he's ten times more attractive? Like, he's end up, he's like fucking crazy and nobody knew it until the class trial? Is this how this is? No! I liked him! Wow, things are getting emotional. The path of statement will then be loaded into your truth cylinder. If successful, you make a powerful emotional argument to counteract your opponents. Stay on the lookout for pathos statements. While you'll always be able to advance the trial using pure logic, emotional arguments can lead to some unique conversations. What kind of interesting shit is this? Oh god, now I'm like pressured. I'm scared. Tablet bloody knife. To kill Kara so easily and without restraint. There is no way to justify this. Take a chill pill, man. You expect me to stay calm? This was the sadistic killing of one of humanity's brightest. We shouldn't make a lot of assumptions about the killer's morals. This could have been self-defense. You don't even know the damn killer. Just the crime scene they left behind. This killer, dead or alive, deserves to be brought to justice but how can we do that 
There's no reason to trust you if you have no proof. So says the ultimate liar. I thought they said you could absorb it. You expect me to stay calm? This was the sadistic. Humanity's brightest. I got it. So I tried absorbing that pathos statement, but it didn't seem like the it violence was... in this murder was excessive and intentional. The killer stabbed the victim 28 times. Yes. It was. I was just going through trying to do whatever they were talking about, like absorb the, the statements, but it wasn't letting me unless I was just doing it wrong. I don't know. Even when the victim started clawing at their neck, the killer persisted. They wanted to inflict as much damage as possible. That's clearly sadistic. It is. I understand that, but shouldn't we consider the killer's point of view? Huh? The victim was carrying a gun at the time of the murder. It's possible they were also trying to kill someone. When the mind is clouded by fear, the body makes rash decisions. Right. The killer was definitely excessive with the stabbing, but they could have been overwhelmed with emotion. In fact, the trap doesn't even work unless someone from the outside opens the door. The killer might have actually been protecting themselves. I disagree. Huh? There's a reason that trap couldn't have been used for self-defense. Something that proves the killer didn't feel afraid. Alright, what are we about to do? I got it. Weapon is fake with that. The killer needed a lot of time to set up the trap. They had to fill the bucket with bleach, move the ladder, climb up the ladder. That's not even mentioning the time it would take to figure out this plan. Most people don't come up with ideas like this on the spot. Yep. Making the plan is sadistic enough, but actually executing it? You'd need to be a real psychopath. If the victim was actively hunting them, the killer couldn't possibly have had the time to formulate this trap and then set it up. Especially if they were scared. No, they clearly had ample time to do this. The victim might not even have been hunting them. The killer could have lured them to the closet by making noise and then killed her brutally. This was a brutal, savage crime. Wolfgang might be right to be so passionate. I suppose I can't dispute that. Does this mean we're done here? Hey, we're disembodied voice. We figured out your stupid case. I now feel like let something us is leave. I'm sorry. I feel like something is about to happen. Like the mastermind is about to come out in some form. <laughs> Obviously, he thinks this is boring. Uh -huh. Oh, you're finally done. Being all honesty, I stopped paying attention a long time ago. What? We only went through this case because of you. Silly me, I have a short attention span. Oh yeah. So, just for my own benefit, why don't you summarize the information you've learned? Is there going to be a killer revealed in this? It'll be good practice. Or is this literally just practice? Fine. I'll do as you ask. I'll present the truth. We'll present the truth together. <laughs> Let's dig into it. It's time to bring this trial to an end. It's time for the closing argument. This is the shortest class trial ever. All right, we're good, I think. I got it. That was kind of hard to control. The radical was so sensitive. The victim was Kara Koshkinen, the ultimate teacher's aide. Right before her death, she was wandering around the academy carrying a large assault rifle. That was probably when our unnamed killer, who was armed with a knife, spotted her. And decided he'd put her to eternal rest. He slid inside that little janitor's closet, 
or he began hatching a deadly scheme. Aye, they needed a way to surprise the victim, who was better armed. The killer grabbed a bottle of bleach from the closet and poured its contents into a bucket. This is really That's good. because they wanted to blank Kara by splashing the bleach in her eyes. Sneaky little bastard. Bastard. I'm just curious as to, like, what this whole class trial is even about. Like, why, why is the mastermind making them do it? Like, is but the killer among that, this group, or is this to literally just an example? We need to catch the victim by surprise. The killer moved a stepladder behind the closet door and climbed up it to reach the doorframe. There, they carefully placed the bucket. That way, when the victim opened the door, the bucket would empty its contents all over her. After completing this setup, the killer retreated to the far end of the janitor's closet and waited for the victim's arrival. The killer could have made noise to attract the victim's attention. Either way, the victim tried to open the door. So, also, the guy I've been calling Ulysses, it's actually Ulysses. My bad. <laughs> and, um, the bleach splashed all over her. Her scalp, face, and eyes were severely burned. Ouch! The killer leapt from his hiding place and began viciously attacking Kara. In his fit of rage and cruelty, he stabbed her from the front 28 times. That's crazy. And this is these animations and everything, they're, they're amazing. While being stabbed, the victim tried to fight back by clawing at the killer. This left the dried blood under her fingernails. However, it didn't deter the killer, and the victim eventually died. At present, we don't have enough information to reveal the killer's true identity, but their actions haven't been forgotten. That is the truth behind this case. Well, are you satisfied? A measly three acts. Poor horse would be beside himself. Um, who the hell is... No one cares! We've done your end of the bargain. Now let... That is what I promised, isn't it? Alright, I'll let you leave this room. What did she say? Let, now let us out already? Okay. Ah, but before I do, may I be frank with you all for a second? This entire time I've been hiding behind a speaker, afraid to show my face. My heart tells me you'll react cruelly to it. However, my head, it raises a compelling argument. Who cares what others think? Shouldn't I get to have a little fun once in a while? Yeah, I'm scared about this. Yes. Let's do away with these silly boundaries already. It's time we meet face to face. Is he gonna be like um, a goat or something? Is that- Oh, like, it's gonna look similar to all those paintings and stuff. You know how, like, Monokuma used to replace, like, things and just- He would be everywhere somehow. Is he gonna be like, um... <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, what is it called? Uh, everybody! Ram? Look over there! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's gonna have a mask on. I figured. Toss away those pickaxes, peasants! The walls have finally crumbled. This is, yeah, I knew what it. What will you do now that you've reached the other side? Will you treasure this new land, serve it, or will you set it ablaze? Well, peasants, have you made your choice? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? I love this unhinged stuff. Oh my gosh, this person, his voice. Are, are you the speaker guy? 
speaker guy? <coughs> no, no. You don't address your superiors like that. He's got the half half face and the red eye on the right. Within the halls of this academy, you'll refer to me by one name and one name only. And that is? His Highness, the great and powerful Tozu, host of the killing game. Tozu. Killing game? Yeah, we never discussed that, did we? Oh no, the narrating comes back. <laughs> or you can call me Tozu for short. Hey. His Highness Tozu? Okay. What do you mean, killing game? The show must go on. Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Quite the contrary. This is only the beginning. Th that's... Of what? Why the long face? Isn't it obvious? You, my dear subordinates... My blood is rushing! ...are going to kill each other! Ugh, he is creepier than Monokuma, to be honest. Uh... That's like... That's not... Come on. That's not funny. But, but then... But you said we could go home if we solved the mystery. Mm -hmm. I gave you peasants an incentive. It's not my fault you took it the wrong way. What? what are you talking about? You lied to us? Rubbish. Lied? Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. I'm a fair man. A man sworn to the truth. And if I recall correctly... Should you all agree on the right answer, you will be free. No one cares. We've done your end of the bargain. That's what I promised, isn't it? All right, I'll let you leave this room. I specifically said you could leave this room, not go home. You... You sneaky son of a bitch. Not okay! That's... You're full of shit, man. Uh, uh, uh. There you go, losing control of your voice. That's how you know you've lost the argument. Oh, the way his eye... Ugh, it gives me chills. Logic is a cowardly thing like that. It'll jump ship the moment it's confronted with a challenge. He didn't lie, did he? He said he never lies. So when he said this was Eden's Garden Academy? Bullshit! What am I doing, believing someone like him? There's no other way around it. He's lying. Dude! Hey. Why didn't you tell us about your dumb game sooner? And watch you peasants run away. Pathetic. I can't host a game without any contestants. Please don't. Please don't do this. I just want to go home. I just want to be with my family. Please just let me go home. There's no need to worry. We're all civilized here. No one is going to kill simply because they've been ordered to. What's this? The peasant has a rebuttal. Let's see. Match between unprepared, unfit players. You could hardly call that a match. In much the same way, this game you've proposed. A killing game between students who don't have a heart to kill. Nonsense. Do you seriously think we'll abandon our morals so quickly? Hey! Yeah, that's totally right. We are like super boring people. We don't have what it takes to do something like this. Indeed! My heart is terribly soft. Softer than the most delicate piece of mochi. When I see a fly in my room, I catch the poor deer in a jar and return her to nature. I would never! My mochi heart would melt otherwise. Mm, I see, I see. That's your argument, is it? How interesting. So, what has you so convinced? Ah. What do you mean? What makes you think the people in this room lack the heart to kill? Do you even know anything about them besides their names and ultimate? Pathetic! If you do, then tell me, regarding killing, where do they stand? Are they okay with murder if it's for the greater good? Are they okay with murder if it guarantees their survival? Is where they currently stand on the issue the same as where they're willing to stand? Go on. You've had a couple hours to get to know everyone. That's plenty of time to learn their life stories, right? <sighs> Should I take that as a no? Goodness, what a surprise. Twist. Not. You wouldn't be here, all dressed up in that fancy suit, if you were so naive. Such a spoil sport. Oh, and one more thing. That trial you just did, that was your preparation for the killing game. Get out. How? All you did was make us play detective. Hot twist! And for good reason. 
here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> if one of you is killed, the remaining students will participate in the true class trial. Your objective here is simple. Uncover the culprit if you can. Using evidence you've gathered during the investigation, you will argue who you believe committed the murder. The result will be decided by popular vote, and if you choose the right person, they alone will be executed and the killing game will continue. However, if you choose the wrong person, the guilty party will be set free and the rest of you will be executed instead. Those are the rules for the game. Everyone understand? All of us will be executed? That's not fair. Isn't this lovely? Really, I think it's one of our most beautiful rules. Everyone has an incentive to participate in the game, innocent or otherwise. What's happening? That's insane. You're treating us like pigs to a slaughter. Such disrespect. Nonsense. All of you have the chance to survive this game. Do you think the common butcher is so merciful? Mm -hmm. By the way, if no guilty party ever escapes, the killing game will end when there are only two students left. You may want to remember that. Or maybe you don't care. It depends on what kind of person you are. Out of the 16 people here, only two would be allowed to survive. No shot. Two people? That's hardly better than if someone gets away with murder. Well done. I know. That's what makes it so funny. Most of you will die no matter what. And yet, with every passing trial, you'll all cling to life more desperately. The show must go on. And that exact mindset is what causes more murders to happen. Aren't these rules simply brilliant? A perfect test of the limits of human compassion? I have an appetite for I... destruction. Okay. I can't wait to see all of you in action. I'm not doing the laughing. <clears throat> My man's laugh tonight is inducing laughter was suddenly cut off by a well-timed strike from behind. Uh-oh. I've said it a million times, you mangy fucking mutt! I want nothing to do with this stupid game! She's gonna die. This has happened before. Ow, 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 ow! Stop it! Since you've made it clear you won't listen to reason, I'll just make sure you have no arms to kill with! Ugh. Do you even listen to when I talk? I'm not the one doing the killing. It's you lot who are- Ugh. Grace drove her fist directly into his stomach. She followed it with another blow and another, and when it looked like she wasn't going to be satisfied until he was dead, I saw it. From out of nowhere, a tiny red dot appeared on Grace's face. She's gonna die. Hey! Stop already! There's a... But before we could do anything... The sound of a gunshot echo. Even when it's serious, I can't. The sound of a gunshot echoed in our ears. Whoops. Grace released the man from her grip. Speechless, she moved her hand to her cheek, which had been nicked by a stray bullet. Oh, I thought she was dead. That's better, I guess. Guards? We all looked in the direction the shot came from. The shooter stood silently by the pillar, a trail of smoke rising from the mouth of her rifle. Her mask. The design was a panther instead of a goat, but it was clear that she was working with him. You. You shot at her? For real? This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Everyone slowly backed away from Tozu, suddenly fearful for their lives. What a, what a shocking and unnecessary display of violence. You think? I was talking about the golfer woman. Well, now that you've become acquainted with our enforcer, Mara, if any of you kids try to jeopardize the killing game, such as by attacking me, she'll be there to put an end to your shenanigans. Pardon me. Even though she misses her shots. That was just a warning. I assure you it'd be unwise to further test her sharpshooting ability. So this is more realistic because in Danganronpa they have like crazy technology and stuff, right? In any case, 
Regardless, I finally have an answer for your previous question. You asked me if I knew anything about my friends besides their names and talents. Truthfully, I don't, but I'll continue to trust them as if I do, because they are ultimates. They are charged with the betterment of society. They've proven themselves to be above simple acts of self-interest. We will not succumb! Even if you trap us, fire guns at us, or force us to endure farcical courtroom procedures. <sighs> he's right. Grace was trying to compose herself, still clearly shocked by her run-in with Don't death. Test me. No matter how weird these guys are, they're talented. Do you really think an ultimate would fall for this bullshit? Uh... That's right. My friends and I have too much to live for and too much to achieve. We won't throw all that away for your killing Don't game. Don't get it mixed up. We're all going to escape. We have to. One by one, the students raised their voices in solidarity with Wolfgang. All of them were so confident in what they were saying, so willing to blindly put their faith in each other. And for some reason, it made me sick. My, my. Damon, what the hell is wrong with you? Never underestimate the strength of human connection. I am quite familiar with this uh. idea. What kind of captain would I be if I can't handle a small crew of 15? What is this horrible feeling of contempt? Why do I feel this way when everyone else seems to be so hopeful? The voice inside me was answered by another. No. You've got it all wrong. The students turned their attention towards Eva, surprised by her words. Uh. Do you actually believe no one here will try to kill? Mm. You're really naive. I don't know how you made it as a lawyer. Well, instead of resorting to random ad hominem acts, why don't you explain your reasoning? It's the truth. It's obvious. Compared to normal people, ultimates are more prone to killing, not less. Living with constant praise from the public has ruined our sense of self. If you need examples, just look around the room. What a joke. Excuse me? Look. In the outside world, ultimates will do anything to further their own goals. The same is probably true here. Once you realize your dreams can only be achieved if you escape, you'll resort to murder. Can't you see? If you continue to convince all of these people to trust each other, they'll only be more vulnerable. Unless that was your plan all along. Is it possible that you want to make everyone vulnerable? So that it will be easier for you to kill them? That's... That's enough. Suddenly, Ingrid stepped in front of Wolfgang protectively. Wolfie's done nothing wrong. He's given all of us a vote of confidence. Uh, um... It's something that we all needed. Please? So stop trying to turn us against each other, please. The horrible feeling grew stronger as the other students admonished Eva. It grew stronger and stronger, and I knew I had to say something. <sighs> Eva's right. No! Damon, not you too. Oh, no. Look, I get it. You want to make the situation less scary for everyone. <sighs> but Eva made a good point. All of us have a clear motivation to leave this place, even at the cost of other people's lives. Whether it's to see our families again or for the sake of our own talents. Don't say that! I would never kill anybody! That's not it. Diana, you yourself admitted you had too much to achieve. Don't you see how that's playing into the masked man's hands? <laughs> this whole we're all ultimates thing is pretty inane anyways. After meeting all of you, it's clear none of us have the same goals. Hold on. What are you insinuating? Don't we all carry the same obligation to improve the world we live in? His question angered me more than anything that had been said before. I could no longer suppress my That's true wrong. feelings. Look, the title barely means shit nowadays, alright? Most ultimates are just dullards obsessing over some pointless hobby. Their talents don't contribute to anything of worth. The only thing they're capable of is leeching off public attention for their own goals. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Running a business that feeds millions is pointless. No. Some of you are an exception, obviously. But come on, there's no way the rest of you can improve the world we live in with your niche fixations. That was very... Don't you mean the rest of us? You're an ultimate too. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell makes you so special? I could feel their words warming their way into my soul. What makes you so uh, special? I, I... I can actually achieve many things with my talent. 
I can argue policy, consider ethics and morality. Yeah. Better yet, I was the one who got you guys through that trial. Really? Is that really what happened? I remember all of us helping Shrimp. out. I see what's going on. You think you're better than us just because you can say words nobody understands. Well, that kind of stuff is relative. Like, tell me what a dragster is, do you know? <laughs> Watch your step, lest you trip and fall from the unparalleled heights of your vanity. Not good enough. I'm disappointed in you. How are you so concerned about making yourself look good when you're in the middle of a death game? The hell? Wait, I wasn't trying to... It was no use. They turned against me, hurling obscenities, scowling, or simply shaking their heads. Isn't this lovely? Do I sense anger, hatred, an unquenchable sense of bloodthirst? Well, save that for later. I'm the only person who can spill blood in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. The elevator will take you back to the killing game arena. We've cleaned up the crime scene and prepared a dorm room for each get of you. lost. Thanks. Now can you get lost? Good evening. He returned to his podium with the masked woman trailing closely behind. The bizarre mechanism that brought him into this room lowered the two of them into the ground and out of sight. So, right. Damon being a stuck-up asshole kind of backfired on him. Hey. Still, we're not going to kill anyone, right guys? No matter what happens, we're all going to make it out of here, okay? It was only when the madman man had left that the reality truly began to set in. I'm trapped in a killing game with people who despise me. How, how did this happen? I just wanted to help. I wanted to make sure we didn't trust each other too easily. And now I'm being treated like the bad guy. Will these people practice what they preach? Will they really refuse to kill? I can't trust anyone here. For better or for worse, it's me versus them. So cued the beginning of the end. The beginning of an unfathomable nightmare, an unrelenting despair. The beginning of a killing game. Opening? That's the Dong and Ronda movie. This is a really cool opening. I'm super scared for the creator though. Cause I'm just scared that it's gonna get taken down or something because of how similar everything is. That was cool artwork just then. To be continued was at the end. That was the end, guys. That was the end of Project Eden's Garden. But yeah, this was really, really good. I'm enjoying this so far. I can't believe it's ended already. I'm, I have been speeding through this content for real. But it was really fun to play. A lot like the actual Dongarafa games, which is kind of why it scares me that stuff might happen um let's hope nothing gets taken down or like you know because this this is really cool i mean i have to admit that i'm really excited for what's to come like i don't even know what to say like 
that was really, really good for just a fan game. Like, I can't, I cannot believe this is just a fan game. Anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching if you've watched all of these. Um, I, this was the first episode that I have, like, the face cam and the second episode that I have the better audio. It's just crazy. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this just as much as I did because, my gosh, but I'm... So sorry about my narrating. Hopefully, if I do this more, it will get better. But yeah, um, I totally, if you want to, I recommend going and downloading the game. I can put the link in the description. I probably will do that for every video that I've done so far. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time in another game or a different vlog or something. I don't know. Bye, guys.